Following on from the previous two videos, we were trying to find out this area here, and as we were doing it, as we were doing it, it gave us a uh, a, uh, a negative area. So, uh, so just to recap of what we did in the previous video, we were trying to find out this whole area here. But rather than finding out the whole area, we would just concentrate on finding out this area. Once we've got this area, we can then multiply it by four, and then that would then give us the whole area. Uh, and, and remember that when time equals zero, the particle is here, and by the time it gets to here, so it's moving in this direction. So by the time it gets to here, the time would be pi over two. So, uh, so, so we, we, we would sum up all the strips here from time. So we would sum up all the strips. We would sum up all the strips from time zero to a time of pi over two uh, in terms of time. So, uh, so this whole area here, hang on. So this whole area here, so we're summing up everything from time zero to a time of uh, pi over two. So we're summing up everything from time zero to time pi over two. So this whole area here would be this whole thing here. So even before we times by four, even before we times by four, this whole thing here is negative. This whole thing here would be negative, meaning that this area here is negative. Why would this area here be negative? So, um, so as it stands, we are trying to find out why this thing here would be, would, why it would give us a negative area. Now, as it stands, this thing here is just too complicated to try and understand why it would, um, it would be negative. So when something is complicated, you would break it down into something simpler. You, you would set up a scenario where, where it's similar to this, but it's a lot simpler. So, so let's just try and set up, um, a, uh, a, let, let's try and set up the uh, parametric equations in such a way that it would simulate this whole thing here, but it would be a lot simpler. It would just be a straight line. So, rather than trying to understand this, rather than trying to understand this, we would, tr we, we would set up a system. So, let, let's just choose a simple number like six and a random number, let's say four, and then set up a, um, Set, set, set up the parametric equations that, that would simulate this. So hang on. So we are trying, we are going to try and understand why this would be negative. So set up the, uh, set up the parametric equations. So, so, uh, so let's make this to be six. Let's make this to be four. So we want to set it up in such a way that it would start here. It would finish here. Um, well, if, so, so, so to set it up, Let's just say, let's try and set it up in such a way that the particle would start here and it takes, let's say, six seconds to get to zero. So here you would, you know, the way you would set it up would be like this. Six seconds, so, so in six, so in, in, in a duration, sorry, this should be T. So in, in a duration of six seconds, it would get back to zero. And then, uh, and then the Y, you would need to set up a Y in such a way that it starts here. It's, you would set it up in such a way that in a duration of six seconds, it would travel a distance of four. Well, the way you would do that is to, uh, is to set it up like this. So, uh, so, so in six seconds, it would travel back to here. And then in, in six seconds, it would travel from here up to here. So, so your parametric equations would be, would be given by, by this. Okay. Now, now just, um, now, now set up a, another system where, hang on. So, uh, so we were trying to understand this. Bear with me. We were trying to understand, we were trying to understand this, this thing here. We were trying to understand this thing here. But, but, uh, but rather than looking at this thing, which is just miles too complicated, we're gonna, we're going to set up a system where, where you start here and then you, you, you would end up here. And then later on, set up another system where you would start at four, you would start here, and then, uh, and then get, and then finish at six. So we've got one scenario where you start here, and then you would go up to here, and another scenario where you would start here, and then come down here. Okay, so, so, we've done this, hang on. We've done a scenario where, where we would start here, and then we would finish here. Okay, so, so, so the, so the parametric equations here would describe, uh, would describe this, this path, this path. So now, uh, now set up another, another one where you would start here 
and then you would end up at six. So come up with the parametric equations to describe uh, to describe this this path here. You start here and end up here. So I will continue in the video in the next video. Um, but for the time being, try to come up the um, with the parametric equations to uh, to describe this path here. So you want to create you want to create it in such a way that um, in the x direction it takes six seconds to get to here, and then and then and then uh, and then it takes six seconds to get from the four to zero. Well, do whatever you want. Somehow come up with the parametric equations. I will um, continue in the next video. Okay.